Hey friends, it's story time with Anna. And I wanna tell you a little bit about the elephant. If you have been into the studio at all, you will have noticed that we have a lot of elephants in the studio. We also have a t-shirt that says, get into formation. And it's got a big picture of an elephant on the front. And I wanna just explain a little bit about what that means, what that's about. Cause it is, the, it is the dragonfly studio. It's not the elephant studio, but the elephant does have a significant meaning to the tribe at our studio. And that's kind of what we call each other is, you know, we're members of a tribe and really we are. Um, I want to read you this story. This was written by Jen Hatmaker and Nicole Nordman. Um, it says in the wild, when a mama elephant is giving birth, all the other female elephants in the herd back around her in formation. They close ranks so that the delivering mama cannot even be seen in the middle. They stomp and kick up dirt and soil to throw attackers off the scent and basically act like a pack of bad mamas. They surround the mama and incoming baby in protection, sending a clear signal to predators that if they want to attack their friend while she's vulnerable, they'll have to go through 40 tons of female aggression first. Have you guys seen female aggression? <laughs> when the baby elephant is delivered, the sister elephants do two things. They kick up sand or dirt over the newborn to protect its fragile skin from the sun. And then they all start trumpeting. A female celebration of new life, of sisterhood, of something beautiful being born in a harsh, wild world, despite the enemies and attackers and predators and odds. Scientists tell us this. They normally take this formation in only two cases. Under attack by a predator like a lion or during the birth of a new elephant. They literally get in a circle formation. So this is what we do, girls. When our sisters are vulnerable, when they're giving birth to new life, new ideas, new ministries, new spaces, or when they're under attack, we, when they need their people to surround them so they can create, deliver, heal, recover, we get into formation. We close ranks and we literally have each other's backs. You want to mess with our sis? You got to come through us first. Good luck. And when delivery comes, when that new life makes its interest, entrance, when healing finally begins, when the night has passed and our sister is ready to rise back up, we sound our trumpets because we saw it through together. We celebrate, we cheer, we raise our glasses and we give thanks. So that's kind of what we do at the studio. Um, at the end of our classes, we often get into a formation of a circle. Now our circle is much bigger because of the Rona, but um, <laughs> it's a big circle. And it's this, this is why this reminds me so much of our studio and our tribe at the studio. Um, so what we do is whenever we go back out, we leave the studio, we go back into the world, back away from each other. And sometimes I feel a little isolated without my tribe with me every day, all day long. And so I go through things and I have stress. And let's say I'm feeling really, really down today and I've had a really bad day and maybe I'm not feeling well or maybe I need prayers for this reason or that reason. All I have to do is get on Facebook or send a text message or an email or whatever. And I might just post an elephant emoji on my wall or on my Facebook post. And that is going to let all the people know who know that, hey, I need you to get information for me. That means I need you to pray for me. That means I need you to send good vibes to me. I need you to call me, to check on me. I need you to have my back. And um, that is what that means. And then we can celebrate together. So if you have something you need praying for, something that you need us to get into formation for you, how can we protect you? How can we pray for you? That is what the elephant means. So you post an elephant emoji and we will know exactly what it means and now you will too.